guys. Okay, so today I am going to be talking about ball busting, especially pertaining to self-defense. So I want to read exactly what um, my guy sent here to me um, pertaining to ball busting. I want to read his question in full. Okay, he said, Ball busting is all fun and games, but when regarding it as a form of self-defense, I think there should be more clarity. It's a valid defense, but you need to stress the goal is to literally break the attacker's balls. Like pop them, flatten them, rupture them. Anything short of that may only anger the attacker. You have to give it the full measure. It's actually really hard to do by hitting them, though. They bounce around too much. Stepping on them is easier, but that is rarely an option. <laughs> Grabbing them is the most likely scenario and also a better way to crush them. Well, if you're really strong, I guess. It is entirely possible for a woman to crush testicles using only their hands. There are plenty of reported cases, apparently. <laughs> if a woman is attacked, if she can get her hands on his balls, she needs to crush them, and she should not let go until she is sure they have been crushed entirely. Let's talk about this, guys. Okay, so, guys, um, ball busting for self-defense. I love giving self-defense tactics, advice. I'm no, self um, I'm no self-defense professional. I do not do karate, jiu-jitsu. In my head though, I am superwoman. <laughs> I can do anything through Christ who me. <laughs> um, anyway guys, so, okay, on a real note, I agree with what my guy is saying, okay? So, I don't know if you want me to call your name, so I'm going to call you Dee Dee, okay? So, I'm with you there. Okay, so, let's expand, let's go in on ball busting for self-defense. Yes, when you are ball busting, like I say, like I always tell you, be consistent, right? Be consistent, be persistent, use as much of your strength as you possibly can. Go all in. Get angry. The anger you get, the angrier you get, if you would notice, the stronger you get, it seems, right? So, get angry. If someone has attacked you, you have all right to defend yourself. Let me say that first, okay? If someone breaks into your home, if someone tries to violate you, if someone does anything to you to which you then have to defend yourself, especially if you have to fight for your life, you have all the right to go in and damage that person. You can kill that person if that's what it took to spare your life. When it comes to ball busting, you want to bust those all the way open, right? You want to squash and crack those nuts. You want to hear the when you smash it. You want to use whatever weapons you can possibly use to try to crack and break those nuts. You're going for red, okay? Going for red. You wanna see red at the end of this because dude needs to be down and unable to come at you. You need to keep going and keep hitting and keep punching and keep stabbing at them until he is useless, until he cannot muster up any energy to come at you. Like I said to you before, guys, girls, if you attack a guy, in the nuts and you don't get him good and you just anger him like i said the angrier you get the angrier you get 
it seems the stronger you get. So you don't want dude to get angry and strong and freaking hulkish, right? So, you know, like I was saying, you have all the right to defend yourself to whatever degree it takes. Whatever it takes for you to save your own life is what you have to do. And if that means you have to crack some nuts to the white meat, that's all I'm saying, honey, to the white meat. How do you squash nuts? Like, 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 like he mentioned, right? Like, it's difficult to kind of like keep those little, um, it's difficult to keep the beans. Let's call them the beans. <laughs> the nuts in place. Because there's all that um, slippery liquid in there. There's sliding around all over the place. And then, um, you know, so it's hard to just like see. You squash something. So imagine something in a plastic bag, right? Imagine you put two, like, two balls in a plastic bag, right? two rubber balls and you put some really slimy some slimy liquid in there and these are small balls and you're trying to squash these balls and every time your foot lands on them they're moving around so you can't get a good squash so what you want to do is something that i've mentioned to you before is you need to tie up those nuts and it's difficult in a situation where you're actually being attacked. So we need to be realistic. You cannot tie up some nuts in a situation where you're actually being attacked. Unless you have a chance to get him down and tie him down to something, then you can do that. That's a situation where you're torturing someone. In an instance where, you know, we're being realistic. Someone walks up to you, someone enters your home and they start attacking you, you know what I mean? By surprise, unexpected. You are going to do whatever you have to do to try to save your life. You know what I mean? And at no point are you going to have a chance really to tie this person down so that you can tie up his nuts so that you can keep the balls contained in one area. That is the best way you can possibly squash those and keep those just in the right spot for you to get a good nut cracking, right? <laughs> What's another way? Another way is you can just kick at them. Now the thing is, you want to use a wider surface um, to kick at them because the wider the surface, the more chance you have at actually getting those nuts. And you want to put all of your pressure, all of your weight into it. So when you kick someone, um, if for instance you have, you're wearing a pair of boots, um, you know, square-toed, round-toed boots, Um, that creates a nice flat surface at the bottom. It's wider as opposed to stiletto heels or stiletto tip boots. Then you can, uh, I mean, you know, the, the, the sharp tips, right? Um, now you have a chance to, um, to get those nuts. But what you want to do is you want to keep stomping at them, not kicking them with the toe of your shoe, but stomping at them with the bottom of your foot, if you can do that, because that way you keep stomping, 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 you're gonna get him to a point that if he's standing up, you're gonna try to kick him that way. If he is standing up, you can kick him with the toe, right? Keep kicking him with the toe of your shoes, right? Because that's probably the best angle you're gonna get him at, right? And then when you finally get him down, it's at this point that you go in and you want to squash in those nuts. You use the flat surface of the toe. Just keep squashing on them. If you can jump on top of them and just stomp on them with both of your feet, just jump on them and stop. Whatever you have to do to try to squash those nuts. If you can find a piece of 2 by 4 right? If you can find a piece of 2 by 4 to keep going at him with that, I mean, oh my gosh, you got to really great opportunity to try to squash those nuts. The two by four is going to apply a lot of pressure. It's got a nice wide surface. It's also thick, so it's going to be a little heavy, which means the heavier, the more pressure when it lands, right? So you want to keep slapping at his nuts, right, with that two by four, and eventually, I'm sure, as, as you keep going, you can crack.
those nuts? How else can we get a chance to crack those nuts? Now, you said with our hands. Okay, now, I know I think I'm superwoman. Okay, I, I do. I really, truly do. But, no, I do not think that I have the power with my hands to crack a pair of nuts. Now, I don't know what material these things are made out of. You know what I mean? These aren't like Fruit Loops or cornflakes where I can grab it up and crunch them up in my hands. These aren't like, this is something completely different. You have to think that you have to break the skin. How much pressure does it take when you squeeze on those nuts? How much pressure does it take to actually squeeze them to a point that they pop? And will they, when you squeeze on those nuts like this, you squeeze them like this, will they just keep moving about in the palms of your hands? Will you be able to get them contained in an area in the middle of your hands so that you can just squeeze them? Another thing that you can do is, you want to pull someone's dick off. Like, what? I mean, if you have the opportunity, if you're in that moment and you know all you have to do is, your best chance is to get at those nuts, however best you can. And somehow you manage to get your hand in there and pull at those, pull at those with all your strength. You're going to grab them and kind of like take off like running. You're going to pop something. I promise you may not break the nuts, but you're going to pop something. You're going to tear something. Just come at it with all the energy that you possibly can. If you get a chance to, I don't know why do be in your your, clothes, your your house with only some drawers on, but you get a chance to um, grip at this dude with only his jaws on, you have a better chance to grip those nuts and balls at the same time. You want to grab both of them at the same time in your hand. You want to squeeze your hand together. You kind of like want to run toward him and grab them and pull at them like this. Keep pulling. Keep pulling at them like this. And he is, this is going to kind of like subdue him for a little bit because he's going to be taken aback. It's going to be really painful. He's trying to get you off of him, but it's hard to. He can barely touch you because, oh my gosh, he just want to touch you because it hurts so bad. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. You keep pulling at those nuts. Do whatever the because you gotta save yourself. Save yourself! <laughs> Don't let him get you. Okay. Don't let him get you because he might get you first. Alright? Now, what else are we gonna do? Um, I mean, it's just that when you, when you, when you consider, you know, self-defense as opposed to, um, you know, doing something for pleasure, that's just something completely different. When you're, when you're dealing with your guy and you're busting balls for, um, for pleasure, you're not going to go in, you're not trying to break any skin, you're trying to crack any nuts, you're not trying to do any of that. You're going to allow him as much pain as he can stand, okay? And you don't want to hurt your guy, because you love your guy, right? But if you're attacking somebody, I need you girls and guys to remember that whenever you're under attack, you have the right to do whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do to get yourself out of that situation. And if in the end that means, then it just means, if in the end that means a no dick, no egg, no testicle having dude, then that just means a no dick, no testicle having dude. That's just what it is. Because you came at me, the hell's wrong with you? Like, you came to attack me. Now you mad at me? Now I'm supposed to feel sympathetic toward you because now you don't have a penis or any testicles or crack your nuts? Dude, no, be mad. You be mad all day. I don't give a shit. You shouldn't have attacked me. That's just what it was. No, I have the right to come at you. So ladies, what I'm saying to you, right, when you are defending yourself, get angry because it, it, it causes you to build up more strength, right? Get angry. I know you're going to be scared. I know some of you may think, you know, oh my gosh, you know, some of you are rational thinkers. Like, I'm a rational thinker. I think before I do anything. And a lot of times I may get angry because I can't have a temper. I may get angry and I may want to do something, but I think, you know what? I don't want to go to jail. I'm, I'm just going to afraid for this nonsense. I have self control. So, you understand? Some of you want to have self control. Some of you have a conscience. Some of you may be thinking, oh my God, if I do this, even if I'm defending myself, I'll probably still go to jail. We have noticed that there have been, say, wives who have defended themselves and some who have made up, made up a scenario where they, they claim that they were defending themselves so they had
this person. Now, we know that whenever you are found out that you were actually defending yourself, you can get off scot for you are good. You understand? It is only when you plot and plan to hurt somebody that you are going to go to jail. You have all the right ladies. Listen to me carefully. You have all of the right to squash those nuts. Tear that dick off. Fuck his shit up. Leave him if you have to. Leave him with nothing. Okay? Because you have to defend yourself. All right. Otherwise, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? So just know that there are no penalties for self-defense. You may think about it in the long run. Oh, my gosh. Let that conscience go. Okay? Because you have to live. You have someone to live for. You know what I mean? I'm sure you, you may have a kid. You may have mom and dad, family members, whatever. You have someone to live for, so you need to defend yourself. You cannot allow this person to take your entire life to take your innocence to take anything emotionally or physically away from you so you have to go in so just remember that guys um i don't know i want to think of other ways that you can try to squash those that you just really want to get at it if you have to pick up a that dick like Lorena Bobbitt, do what you gotta do and i know she probably didn't do it for the right reasons but if a dude is coming at you right to use it so go in go all the way in remember to send your request to the email down below king queen and i will respond as quickly as possible once again guys i'm still going through my requests if i haven't gotten to yours know that i will get there okay so um remember when my guy didi Remember when my guy Didi said that there have been several reported cases of women busting guys' nuts? Well, there are. I went and I had a look. So, there is a story that in China, this lady, she was in the house with um, her two daughters. Um, actually, this was uh, a, Vietnam a Vietnamese woman, a Vietnamese family, and she was in the house with her two daughters, and apparently her husband was very abusive. And um, that day he came home, and I guess they were feeling threatened, so they refused to open the door. Well, he busted the door down to get inside. Well, he got exactly what he was looking for when he busted in that door, because in her defense, as he came in and started attacking her, she grabbed his nuts and squeezed them for five minutes. Dude can handle it. He passed out, went to the hospital, died later on. So in India, there's a lady who, she was in a fight. She was apparently drunk and she was in a fight with her husband and the husband's dad stepped in. So bear in mind, this is an older guy. Husband's dad stepped in to try to get into in the middle of the fight. And this is why maybe sometimes it's not a good idea to get in the middle of a fight. So dad got in the middle of this fight and she aggressively grabbed his penis and she squeezed his well she grabbed his nutsack area and she squeezed them she squeezed them so hard and so long that dude passed out his his um um testicles actually ended up exploding and he passed out and died poor guy he was just trying to help the situation out he's trying to help his son i don't know what he was saying i don't know why she turned on him because he, the argument wasn't between the two of them it's between her and her husband but he wanted to defend his son and poor guy and you rest in peace because i don't know if you deserve that i am so sorry um another story there's a woman in africa now this story took me like off a little bit because there's a chick in africa right she was in an argument with her husband. Her husband was abusive. This particular woman in Africa, her husband was abusive, okay? And one day, he, they were in a heated argument, and he drew back and he slapped the shit out of her. How you doing? Well, she wasn't having it anymore. She was over the bullshit. So she grabbed his nuts, squeezed his testicles, and she refused to let go. The part that got me was, they said that she pulled down his pants and continued to squeeze his testicles. How did you do that? In what position was he that you were able to unloose, unbuckle, unzip his pants and 
pull them down. Like, I don't understand. Was he so weak to the point that while you were squeezing his nuts, you were able to push him down in a certain position, keep your hand on those balls, unzip, unhook the pants, pull them down, and then continue squeezing at the best. I'm a little confused. I don't know how she did that. But either way, more power to you, girl. You got yours. Last story. Um, so there is a lady um, in, in India, no, in China. There is a lady in China. I don't know if I'm going to call her a lady because this is one of those scenarios where I said, now, there, now you can't just go busting people's balls and nuts, kicking people in the penis and shit for any old reason. And funny enough, this was one of those reasons I said, this is not a good enough reason to kick someone in the nuts. However, this woman thought it was. She got into an argument with a dude in a parking lot. She wanted a certain parking space. He wanted to take it. He wasn't giving up. She wasn't giving up. She gets pissed off and she screws his nuts. Dude passed out. Hope you guys enjoyed these stories and uh, just a little proof that some of these ha things happen in real life and that these things are possible. Um, however, guys, um, don't go overboard. Don't just go find any old reason to kiss someone in the nuts, like I told you before. Don't be like China girl, okay? Just kicking someone in the nuts, squeezing someone's balls over a parking spot. I'm sure there was another spot, probably even right on the side of that, just up from there, two cars down. There's probably another spot right there. Someone was probably pulling out on the very side of them, even. There's no reason. That's all. <laughs>